a man that can't see or can't cook, but he's making Mexican meatloaf. <laughs> what are we going to name your segment? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Easy cook ideas or something. Oh, come on. All right, Mexican meatloaf. Mexican meatloaf. How much crushed chips do you want? Uh, do a couple handfuls for now. Salsa. Well, because with meatloaf, you gotta check the, the consistency of it for I holding know. together. I know how to make meatloaf. So. So where's the green chilies at? Uh, in there. Out of curiosity. I love that can opener. Did you get it on video? No. <laughs> so we got our onions in there and green chilies too with our salsa and corn chip mix. But I have not had a person not like this yet. And you don't add like a sauce on top of it or anything? You can add taco sauce on the... T here, set that down. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wash my hands off here real quick. Alright, shape our meatloaf. Actually, we may want to get a bigger one. A bigger one? Yeah. This one will work. Yeah. Man, I don't like the way that's looking. You don't? Let me see some more uh, crackers. So this should be spicy. So 350 for 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check on it at 45. Actually, ain't really all that greasy. There we go. That's at about 40, that's about 50 minutes. <laughs> 126. So it's gotta be at 170. And that's for well done. So do you know how to run that? Do I just stick just, it in? Yeah, it looks like you just stick it in. It's beeping in that center. 196. Can you be ninja ninja about it? I think so. <laughs> I trained with the best samurai meatloaf makers in the world. 
Ooh, I might have to pick it up. Yeah, it's just, like I said, it's a little soft, yeah. Oh, shit. He did it. He did it. Definitely different, yeah. Different in a good way. Not for sure, yeah. Yeah. But it is definitely tasty, and I just tried to like a little bit of that crust, mm -hmm. that crispy part. Kind of tastes like this. Like a, you know, like a mushroom or something. Even though there ain't no mushroom in it. But and definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. Take one, it don't twist. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try some of the top of it. I'm gonna go in the middle. Mm. Not dry. No. Corn flavors there. Mm, for sure. You can taste a little bit of like that chili salsa a little bit to it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I like the onion in it. And was no onion put in it. Yeah, there yeah, was. There was. What, the MSG? No, no onion. onion. No, I'm cut. talking about mu not onion, mushroom. Mm, I'm not getting the mushroom taste anymore. You're not getting it? Mm -mm, let me try I'm some of the top. That, that, that top where the char is. is. That's what, because when I first tasted it, I know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's weird. Mm. Yeah, I get more of the corn flavor down in the middle of it. Mm, I that is weird that there's a mushroom flavor in there. I almost wonder if that might have been the, the MSG part of it. Mm -mm. No, that's not what MSG tastes like. Well, how in the hell we get mushrooms out of <clears throat> out of tomatoes and onions and... <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe they put mushrooms in the salsa. So. No. 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 This though, this is this is where the the game is, I think. All right, well, let's try it in the tacos now. Taco sabritos. <laughs> opinion but I would do whole black beans instead of the refried mm-hmm I think I would too because the refried covers it up a little mm -hmm. bit and we need something in there to 
to break up the texture because everything in there is just kind of mush. Overall, as a package, I would eat that again with some with some changes. True. Mm -hmm. I mean, it deserves a revisit. Um, I wouldn't do the salsa on top. I kind of agree with that one. Do you need a napkin? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for this one, wasn't bad. I just don't get why we got the mushroom taste. That's weird. It's, it, that's the only thing I can think. It's got to be... I don't know if it's from the chilies or from the salsa. Not from the chilies. I'm going to say the salsa because that was the only other thing that was on top. Something in it when it evaporated it was mushroom flavored apparently. So you do, you need to tell me the, the secret recipe to good salsa is a fucking mushroom? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> How did you like it with your mango? Did it pair nicely? Did you feel Mexican? Did I feel like I was on a road trip adventure with it? Yeah. <laughs>